Hi, Karen. Uh, my name is Miguel Breckner. I run the program uh, Seibal in Uruguay. It's the program by which we've given a laptop to every child and every school child and every teacher in the country. You were talking about personalization and talking about the infrastructure. Do you have any plans on getting to every student with either a laptop or a tablet or being able to work together so that the teacher knows what's happening with him and he can get directly access to all the digital information? Absolutely. So first of all, I want to absolutely congratulate you. Um, I was actually talking with the Secretary of Education um, last weekend, uh, Arnie Duncan, and telling him about your country, about um, what South Korea has announced by 2014. And he was incredibly interested in, in uh, what you have done. You really have been, you are stepping out as a leader across the world. So first of all, thank you very much. I think you're, you're showing uh, kind of what's possible and, and you're, you're, uh, you're powering up learning for every single student. Um, what, what we're, so we're very interested. And we're also interested in what you're finding, what the practice is, how long it takes to, to actually transition um, in the United States, we have we are kind of like 50 little countries when it comes to education. So there are states that are looking at saying by 2014 or whatever we will we will in fact um, be like like uh, Uruguay, like like, uh, like uh, and provide every a laptop. So we definitely are are very interested in in following your work, um, and uh, many people in the country are also saying, hey, we should be leaders. We should lead this. We should also lead this effort. So as we go, we definitely want to uh, learn from you and, um, and uh, follow in, in your footsteps. The, the personalization part of it is not a given. As I travel and visit classrooms where all students have devices of any kind, many classrooms are still in lockstep having every student do the same thing at the same time, stay on the same screen. Um, it's, it, it's a habit and a practice that's going to be incredibly hard to break. I think one of the things that we need are better products. We need better, better content, better interactive environments, better interfaces that guide the learner and take them where, where they are, rather than uh, in the previous, the previous question, rather than thinking about the learner as a consumer and providing them the information to consume. Sorry. One last thing I'll say, one of the things that we're really interested in, in an online website where people can work together on this, but creating more and more compelling assignments for students. Not fluffy projects, not cute assignments, but really come deep uh, assignments that, that engage them, that get students working together, that's very participatory, that allows them to access experts, that allows them to, to, to think deeply about things and bring their particular kind of angle or expertise uh, to, to potentially solve complex problems. So this notion of creating more compelling assignments, that is something that I think we can engage all educators in doing so that they aren't kind of snapping back to their the, what's comfortable, and that is controlling and managing and making sure that every student is kind of staying with them. So again, thank you for, for, uh, for the leadership that you're showing across the world. Thank you very much.